consumer advocate Erin Brokovich joins me now. Uh, good to see you again. There was quite um, a lot of concern. Tell me about the reaction that you had from the residents and your advice to them. So, um, you know, they're still very concerned uh, being down there on the ground. I mean, we saw a lot of things that would make you clearly understand why it would be confusing to the people what is really happening, what is not. They are scared. Um, they are united. They're wanting to be well informed. They're really worried about what the future holds for them. They are down there remediating and aerating different creeks and rivers. There's booms out. Uh, they're definitely, you know, as they aerate the water, creating it to come back into the air. It's very concerning when you go to the high school and they have all the drinking fountains locked. So there continues to be a very mixed message that I think continues to create angst within the community. So they're, they're, they're concerned. They don't seem to be trusting what they're hearing. And they're really worried about the future impacts of this for themselves and their children. And what are they saying about the federal response? Because there's been so much political um, outcry about the president not going, being in Kiev. That's from right. the political, the Republican side. Uh, from the White House, they say yeah. they were, they had FEMA there and then the two hours after the accident, which is the normal response, and past presidents haven't gone. So what are they telling you? Well, they're, again, they're frustrated and they don't trust. And I really think that, you know, they want this focus to be on the train derailment and the environmental issue and impact that it has caused to them and their health. That is their focus. Well, we're going to go back out there again on Thursday. And our message to them is, you know, these things take time to unfold and a lot of missing information will fill itself in here soon about what the testing shows, what they need to look out for. This won't be an overnight fix. And that's the thing that creates angst for them and, and makes me so sad. This will be a long haul for them for monitoring the water, the aquifer, worried about soil vapor intrusions, what chemicals were they exposed to, what should their doctors be looking for, and, and what will that future hold for them in, in 10 years. And many of these train derailment sites, if not all of them, that we've seen happen that have similar chemicals like as this site does, their water's still contaminated. So you try to just give them the best information, um, even if it's something they don't want to hear, because they do well at least knowing so they can plan and prepare accordingly. And, and that is the biggest thing that is so difficult in a situation like this. We're just not going to have every answer that everybody needs at this very moment. But what we do hope happens is that they pay very close attention to the municipal water, aerating, continue with their remediation, monitor the air. And again, it's good to see CDC down there. These people want answers about what to look for in their health, what their symptoms are, who could oversee that, and what that would mean for their future. Do they trust the EPA? No, it's so hard for them. You know, we uh, this is a lovely community, and they're very united. Um, they ask great questions, but they're in a position now where they don't dis they just don't trust the situation. Even when I was down there, you hear that it's all clear and it's safe. But at the same time, they're remediating, they're aerating the water, there's VOCs in the air. You know, you have the wellheads for the city in a park near the high school that's close to the site. They're aerating that area. I mean, what is in the air? What could be getting into the schools? It, it's such a mixed message. So I, I do, and I am concerned for them that they are clearly in a position where they don't trust what's going on. And at this point, they don't know who to believe.